we're back. We are back. It's been a long layoff. Chris, oh it's so nice to be doing with, you know, this, with this with you again. I, yeah, it's you know amazing. what? I, I miss this, man. We don't, don't it's amazing. I, kinda, I like our new setup we got going on. We look yeah. more and more official. I, th- I the, think so. We got the arms and, you know, the couch. You can, see, you can see behind us. You yeah, can, you can see, see more of the wall. More. We look pretty more, comfortable. We look more professional. Comfortable. I, I'm, I still want to change a few things, and we're going to get a couple other things in here if we uh, keep doing this more regularly, which I hope we do. Might go out to the garage. Yeah, we got to work on the garage. There's a lot of work that needs to be done out there, but that'll be the... Uh, that's the main goal set up. Yeah. A, I'm sure my I'm sure my wife would like this room back. I'm sure she'd not make it. You know, take take it away from me. She would love it. Well, the garage is man's territory anyway. It is. It is. It's freaking hot out there in the summertime. That's true. Woo! That is true. It's a burner out there. I think maybe we'll just do that every once in a while then, yeah. <laughs> until it's, we can get some more permanent set up out there. there. Yeah. But hey, how you guys been? Uh, thanks for coming back and clicking on this video. Um, we're going to try something a little bit new um, here on out. Uh, we're going we're gonna to try to keep doing the video stuff, but we're going to get a little bit more into the uh, audio-only uh, podcast version of this. Um, there's still going to be, uh, I think we're going to try to do a mix, probably do both. Mm-hmm. Um, probably still upload this this type of video, nothing spectacular, nothing special on YouTube, stuff like that. And then we're going to, we're going to, I have a, a service that I'm going to be doing for the, for podcasts. Right, and uh, I'll put it on our Facebook where you guys can find that. If you're listening in, you want to you want to get an audio only version. I'll let you know what uh, what outlets it distributes that to um, on our Facebook, and also on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm on Twitter, uh, Stephen underscore Seaburn. Uh, that's my Twitter handle. Apparently, I need to to tweet. Chris is not on Twitter. He's, I don't. He's not up on that. I don't. Tweet. Um, so yeah, well, uh, follow me on there. Uh, be good. I'll uh, post post when we're going to be doing these videos and everything and as always you know go on our facebook page uh, follow that all that good stuff we'll try to put more polls and stuff on our group and everything that's always that's always really fun and we're gonna try to get out there and see some more movies uh i just signed up for movie pass that is an amazing service if you do not have movie pass yet sign up for it i don't uh, i'm gonna sign chris up for you yeah, I, yeah. I would love that uh, yeah that'd be fun i can literally sign you up during this podcast. <laughs> it's that, that easy. It's that easy. It's that Actually, easy. Actually, you just give me your phone and I can sign on with Facebook. Are we getting sponsored by done. movie? Like, should we, I feel like we should be getting sponsored. Movie Pass, <laughs> hit us up. No. Sponsor. Yeah, our uh, 13 followers on YouTube are really going to get us a uh, movie pass. But all, all you Facebook fans out there, thank yeah, you. Yeah, we haven't been you posting been, anywhere. We're getting a lot yeah, more views lot and more likes, views, so that's nice. Been... And that's one of the reasons I want to get in, in back into this, because... Surprisingly, even though we haven't been posting at all, we've still been getting a lot of views and likes on Facebook, so we appreciate that. Thank you for tolerating our shit. We appreciate yeah. that. that. That makes yeah. everything really nice. Yeah, and like I said, I, was, I want to get to make this better and everything, so we'll take your input, anything you guys have. Um, so let's get into talking about some movies. So the most recent movie that you and I have watched in, is, in theaters in theaters is, is Black, Black Panther. Panther. And uh, Great movie. I gotta say, I liked it. I liked it. It... Um, I was extremely happy that it wasn't a complete social justice warrior fest and everything like that. Yeah. I, I cannot stand that. It was like one of my biggest pet peeves. It's, they kept a lot of the politics out yeah, of it. Yeah, keep really politics nice. out of movies. I mean, it's cool and everything, but for some movies you have to do it, but not, not comic book movies. We don't, need, we don't need our comic book heroes getting political. I don't no. like it. No. I don't like it. No. I'm talking to you, Robert Downey Jr. Oh, <laughs> Chris Evans. <laughs> I'm with her. Yeah, she lost. Get over it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's get into that. I think Chadwick Boseman, he plays a great Black Panther. Um, really I, just, I really enjoyed everything he brought to the table. Is it Bosman or Boseman? Chadwick Boseman, I do believe. If I'm not Bosman. incorrect. Let us know if we're saying his name wrong because we totally could be. I thought it was Bosman. Oh, yeah. But you're an idiot. I love you. Okay. So, what was your, uh, what were some of your favorite parts about Black Panther? Uh, some of my favorite parts about Black Panther. I think, uh, I liked, I really liked the updated suit. I liked, you know. I did dig I the purple. I loved how they. I dig the black and purple. Yeah, I thought that was really great using that, that kinetic energy like that. I thought that yeah, was really yeah. cool. That was cool. How they, you know, how they brought that into it. So he, oh, he just so you, just, it. just so you guys all know, we're going to give the warning now. It's we, spoilers. We're going to talk about some spoilers. It's been out for three weeks it's long enough i think it's been three or three four weeks you know what it's still the number one movie in theaters yeah it's like breaking some records here thank you wrinkle in time for sucking 
Uh, uh, going, that's disappointing. Woo-hoo, bomb. If anybody who read the books out there, I mean, I, I I'm like surprised. I mean, they uh, must have they must have demolished this movie like and not in a good way. Yeah, because it's getting real shit reviews. Yeah, I listened to uh, John Campia. Oh, okay, on, Campia uh, on YouTube. And what he he's, destroyed. He's my, he's my go-to movie guy right now. And he just demolished it. Now. Uh, was there anything he likes about it? <laughs> he said it's. A, he gave the director credit. I, I believe he said something along the lines of, "It was a, it was almost an impossible movie to shoot the story," and I can yeah. see that. Oh yeah. But the books were. Really... I, I just I watched the I watched the the trailers and the movie in the movie theater, and I just I knew it was gonna be a jumbled mess. I think I was hoping for the best, being a fan. Of, you know, when I was younger, when I was a kid. Because I was always into fantasy, and, you know, yeah, that was my deal. But anyways, back to Black Panther. So, I think there was, I think the suit, the technology, I thought was great. I loved how, you know, they delved into the secret world that they have. And how they kept, yeah. they kept this from everybody and made it look like a third world country for so long. Yeah, no, Wakanda was cool. But Wakanda at, was cool. At the same time, it makes Wakandans, like, it makes them look like assholes. Yeah, because they have all of these parts of their country out there that are totally messed up, totally screwed up. Mm-hmm. I mean, warlords and all this awful shit, and 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 the Wakandans were had the had the all of this technology and all these ways to make life better for everybody in Africa, yeah. and chose not to. And not even just Africa, the world, right? And and chose to keep it a secret because they, you know, they were scared of what other people might do. Which I completely, I you People know, I suck, get that. Man. I understand. Suck. But it was cool to see how they how they broke out of that at the end. He he wanted to be a better king. I thought I thought that whole storyline, that whole thing, was really cool too. That was really awesome. Okay. Yeah, and I I, I totally agree. And you know, the storyline was really good, and getting into Wakanda was was awesome. His his little sister, she was one of my favorite characters in this movie. She was awesome. Yeah, she was she had kick all that ass. tech. She was super so, smart. Yeah. She was like she was like Tony Stark. Yeah. Like a younger Tony Stark. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Actually, the, the new, new Iron, Iron Man, Man is a young guy. Hey, you know. that you know what? I didn't even think about that. Oh. Interesting. Mm. That'd be kinda cool. Maybe when Robert's uh, a little bit tired of this whole thing, maybe uh maybe we'll go that direction. Nah, Spider Man's his boy. Spider Man? The Iron Spider. You guys what they're calling? The Iron Spider. Oh, they're calling him the Iron Spider. Oh, in Infinity War? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, you could tell there's he was posters, rocking posters the... that came out, and yeah. like, they have everyone's name on it. Iron Man, uh, Black Panther, uh, Thanos, and then Spider-Man's... It's not Spider-Man, it's Iron, Iron Spider. Spider. That's cool. Iron Which Spider. is awesome, because that's actually... That's, like, right in there with the comics. Cause, yeah. I, mean, I mean, Spider-Man had... I don't even know how many different kinds of suits. Like, it's been yeah. a ridiculous amount of suits. Like, he has his go-to, but... Tony hooked him up with way more than just the one standard. So. Yeah. Anyways, that's cool. Well, it'll be interesting to see how they go. Yeah, you know, I was actually I was pretty surprised that they um, they killed off uh, Claw. Claw. Yeah. Claw. Yeah, that was that was a bit of a shocker to me, but yeah. like you said, I mean, and and you know what, I mean, Disney Marvel, they they have no qualms about showing people that this isn't the comic book universe you're used to. Yeah. It's all there. I mean, it's all it brings you back and it sucks you in and gets you going. But I mean, they're not. They have no problem showing you that this is their universe, mm-hmm. you know, and, and I think that's pretty cool. I think that's worked out for him. Obviously, it's worked out for him, yeah. you know, in huge ways. You know, and I, I don't, I just don't think he was a high it, enough yeah. tiered villain to really flush villain. out another whole storyline with him. I think he he met his purpose, and you yeah. know, they really didn't have any other use for him in that in this series. I mean, you're getting into an Infinity War, and then there's. Like you're gonna lose some main characters there, and then you're gonna have the next one after that. I think that's what's gonna be. Is there? There's a trilogy for this, I right? There's gonna be Black three Panthers. more Avengers. Three more Avengers, but I think they're gonna yeah. do the three Black Panthers too. Though, oh right? yeah, they'd be silly not. Well then, to. definitely. So they'd be silly not to. I think Killmonger is obviously the biggest fish to fry. You know, yeah, and they, if for they the movie. Them out in the first movie. Yeah, that was surprising. I was I kind of I didn't they really, iced him out the first because he was like he was the bitch, I, I'm not like, I'm not big on who Black Panther's main villains are I'm assuming it's it's him and Claw him Claw there was a couple of others that were probably like you said second tier kind of yeah but I mean Killmonger was the number one he was like the, the one it's his cousin yeah it was his cousin yeah 
he was the one that was like high up, you know. He was the one that was like back in the warlords and like trying to create strife and unrest and all right. these things, you know. Wanted to basically kill everybody, kind of deal, you know. I mean, yeah. Okay, so what would you what would you give Black Panther out of ten? I'd give it a solid. I think it was like an eight point nine. I think he's probably right there. Eight eight point eight. Okay. Probably, probably yeah, I'm gonna give it mid eights. I'm gonna give it eight point five. Yeah. Okay. I uh, I really like it. Um, it's very deserving of uh, it crossed a billion dollars. Oh wow, really? Yeah, it oh, crossed okay. a billion dollars. Dang. Um, I haven't looked at the specs. It's worthy of that. It's it's a very good movie. Well put together. Oh, shot yeah. wonderful. And they didn't go crazy with like the CGI it didn't look stupid or yeah who's that they they I didn't pull a Justice League I can't think of the actor's like name well. who uh, he plays uh, plays Bilbo Baggins oh. he's in Sherlock oh, oh. It's not Simon Pegg. what is his name it's uh oh. the, the British guy from British guy. from Sherlock and yeah, yeah I don't Stanley. remember his name Stanley. was it Simon something or John something no. John, insert British name here. Yeah. Was that something Very like that? British. British as fuck. But yeah, I mean, he did a great job. I mean, hell, you couldn't even tell he had a British accent. Yeah, keep And he's like British, yeah. British too. Like, massively British. So, I mean, that's pretty pretty impressive. Keep but yeah, he did a good job. I mean, he, uh, you know, he played his part really well. I think he, you know, I mean, he became kind of like you know, the secondary hero at the end kind of thing, you know, he went into it not knowing what he was going to do, and then he, you know, they made him, you know. Martin Freeman. Martin Freeman, I wow. was so not even close at all. Not even uh, I like Martin Freeman, and the, especially in this movie. This, Great he, actor. He was a, they made him. Solid. Yeah. Just real solid. It was a very, he was a very good part of this movie. Kind of cocky, smart mm-hmm. ass, you know, yeah. typical. And a pilot. And a pilot, and a pilot to boot. pilot. Yeah. And a pilot, saved his day. Yeah, he did Saved his day. Okay, so I think that's we were pretty much touched everything about Black Panther. I think, I think so. we'll move right along. Han Solo. Oh, Jesus Christ. What do you think about Han Solo? We see that trailer. The trailer's Han in the uh, Black Panther. Uh, yeah, for we, Black Panther. Yeah, and I am. I'm not gonna. I mean, we didn't get a lot. To, we didn't really get to see a lot about Han Solo specifically. Are you cautiously optimistic? I am cautious, period. Cautious, I'm not, not even optimistic. I am I have hopes. I have hopes. He's got high hopes. hopes. Yes, exactly. Like I'm really hoping that what we saw in the trailer doesn't like I think the trailer maybe was just shitty. I hope. Yeah. Because it, it just it really didn't look it didn't look like what I was expecting Han Solo to be like in his younger years. Lando looked not like Lando. It I mean, Lando was like this suave, debonair, you know, like, masterpiece of a dude. He was, like, cool, you know? It was like, and he did not look like that in the trailer. Who's no, the guy playing him? So. That's um, Danny Glover's son, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, it was Danny Glover's son. Not, not that he's a bad actor. He's a good actor. I just, for my personal preference, I don't see him playing Lando. I just don't. The... Okay. Yeah, I don't see him playing. What about the actor that's playing uh, Han? I don't know a lot about him. I don't know a lot about the actor playing Han Solo, but he seemed really not like Han Solo. He seemed, I don't know, he seemed like a bit of a pushover, honestly. Like, he didn't he didn't exude that. He had a little bit of cockiness to him. A little, but I mean, Han Solo was a straight up dickhead like i mean that's like maybe this is how he became that cold cool collected uh how far how far before the original trilogy is this oh 10 years i don't know like how long he he hadn't he hadn't had the millennium falcon for that long you know i don't know you know what i mean like are we looking like a 10 year span here like i don't think we've actually looked at that but i mean in that amount of time yes i can see a lot of character growth but at the same time, like, he had to have already have been pretty well like that to be where he is. Yeah. I, I think bet. the character development for him was already pretty well ingrained in who he was. And I just didn't, I didn't feel like that came across in the trailer. But it was a trailer. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe I'm just mistaken. It was, only what did a, you think? it was only a, what, two minute long trailer? Exactly. So, I mean, it's I'm reading. It's hard to get a. I'm reading a lot into this. Two hour and, say, a 30 minute movie and yeah. two minutes, but. Right. I am 
like you, I'm cautious, but I'm also very optimistic. I think, I think it's going to be better than people think it's going to be. Because people think this movie is going to bomb. It's a one-off. But, you know, in terms of, I mean, there's, there's, I think there's, I think there's some uh, Star Wars fatigue right now for a lot of the fan base. I think, yeah. We're getting with a the lot last Jedi, of Star Wars. Oh, the Last Jedi kind of. The last Jedi yeah. was very split. Um, yeah, I think I hope everyone liked Rogue One, but there's people who had issues with Rogue One. That actually did pretty good. I, I love Rogue One. I thought it was great. I love Rogue One. It was awesome. But, you know, a lot of the fan base is split right now, and they're not. People are not getting excited for Han Solo. It feels like the momentum. There's is not. There. There's not as much push or momentum for Han Solo as it is Rogue One. Yeah. I mean, it could be all the issues they've had so far with Han Solo, the changing of directors, the you know all the people people saying that the old and Aaron Reich, the guy playing Han Solo, you know, he's he's had needed a he needed an acting coach during the filming of this and what? Yeah. Did he? That's that already saying. does not That's look well. We'll see though. I mean, it's I like Ron Howard. He he puts out some good movies, so I have faith in him. Plus, the Daenerys Targaryen. Right. You can't just you can't just rely on her to make the whole movie know. good. Do you know what I mean? It'll make it a little bit. Like I, I don't know. I mean, it'll definitely make it bearable for sure. Better. But I don't know, man. I'm really I have, like you said. I have I have high hopes. I really hope, I'm hoping that it, that what we saw in the trailer is just a little one off. And it's a one-off movie. It's just like, you know, it's just like uh, Rogue One. It's a one-off thing. We're mm-hmm. not going to get another Han Solo movie. There's not going to be a trilogy. You know, so. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. We'll see. Um, what do you think of, uh, oh, what's his name? Your new boyfriend? What's his name? My new boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> John Favreau. John Favreau is directing the new uh, live-action Star Wars series. For the Disney streaming service, uh, it's a show, showrunner. Yeah, he's he's directing the. I'll the, be honest, I don't think I've even heard of that. You haven't heard that yet? I obviously. Oh, that came out a couple days ago. Came out a couple really? days ago. John Favreau is directing the, all the new uh, a new series. What's the basis on, on it? They don't know yet. It hasn't come out yet. But he's he's gonna John be Favreau? he's gonna be directing the new a new uh, series on the Disney streaming service. John Favreau. live action. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm excited. Huh. I'm excited. We don't, he had a lot to do with uh, Clone Wars. Okay. Too. He had a lot okay. to do with that. Well, I mean, and you know what? I've heard nothing but good things about, I mean, obviously the first season or two was probably a little bit more kid kid friendly. A little bit well, more Clone Wars is one of those things that got better as the longer you watch it. And I like right. Rebels. And Rebels, I heard Rebels a lot of really good stuff about Rebels. You haven't I, watched I it? haven't gotten into it, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been Netflix and the like first season. Son of the first a season, dude. it's hit or miss for me. And they have a lot of there's a lot of throwaway episodes. I think a lot of but the, the good episodes that have to do with the storyline, the yeah. main storyline, are good episodes. And there's a lot of big names that do those voice and they do the voiceovers yeah, for those um, characters. Real big. Freddie Prince Jr. Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, it's a lot of these people that you think disappeared oh. are doing voiceovers now. Yes, just and remember Ian, that. Ian McKellen. Ian yeah, McKellen, he, he yeah. came back to voice uh, the Emperor. Did he really? In the final season. Yeah. Oh, we'll see. There you go. see a series finale. And that, that's really cool, man. I think I think that's I, really awesome. I do believe they use uh, uh, James Earl Jones for Darth Vader as well. Oh, do they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do. Okay. All so, right. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that's really cool. I really like that. I think that's it's a really nifty way to you know get... Get kids yeah, and into I, it. And I, I trust John Favreau with a lot of things. Uh, there's a, there's a little movie out. I don't know. I don't hear a lot of people ever talking about it. That John Favreau directed and he starred in. Uh, Chef. Oh. Um, it's like him. So yeah, he has like a talk like a him. he has like a street truck, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got a food truck. Yeah. yeah I actually, I didn't watch that, but I heard a John lot of Linguizamo. Linguizamo. Yeah, Linguizamo. Uh, uh, Rob Downey Jr. Um, There's some pretty big Black Widow. Oh, Scarlett, Scarlett Johansson. Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. She's How did in you it. forget her name? I don't know, man. I'm just wrong saying. with you? I'm not on my right What's that super right hot chick's name? She's in the know. Marvel movies. What's that dime piece's oh, name? Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, gorgeous. gorgeous. John Favreau. Yeah, he's actually a lot of directing. Yeah. A lot of directing. And he's a great actor. Oh, yeah. Well, he did He did um, Jungle Book. Yeah. He did Jungle Book. He's doing Lion King. He's doing the live action Lion King. He's doing the live that action Lion King. Is that coming soon? I'm not sure. Or is that like a summer thing? Uh, probably a summer. That's gonna be a summer blockbuster thing. thing. 
Yeah, that's cool, man. No, I didn't even know they were going to do a live action show for Star Wars. Yeah, they're waiting for that new Disney streaming service that's going to take everybody's money. I'm, I'm going to get it. Are you? Yeah. I feel like it's people, like, it's like collecting like trading you should, cards. You like you just, kid. you get a service just be, just to have it. You know, Dude, like you HBO. Kid. You gotta get it. Mm. All the Disney movies. Disney streaming. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure my kid, and my wife will yeah. get on me about that. I'm sure. Yeah. Like we don't own enough Disney movies in the house. Nah, you don't. No. no nope. No. You gotta get some so money. Disney's pulling out of Netflix entirely, am I right? I believe so. Now is that is that just strictly Disney, or are they pulling their Marvel oh, franchise Marvel and all that too? Oh man, it's Netflix. Uh, I don't know now. about the like the the Marvel properties on there, like Luke Cage, Daredevil, Jessica Jones. I think those are staying on Netflix. Because those are Netflix originals. Yes, I think. So I, Netflix, how's that how's that going to affect Disney then? If they're doing this new streaming service, those shows are specifically made from Netflix. Yeah, using the Marvel. I don't franchise. want any of those series. I don't want them Netflix. Netflix is killing it right now. Yeah. I am like. I am such a Netflix junkie right now, it's not even fun. Oh, yeah. The Netflix know. original series, they are blowing my mind. I don't know why I even mind. have cable. I, 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 who has the cable? The only thing I watch on cable is NFL What's Network. What's cable? That's I don't even know what that is anymore. NFL Network, that's it. And every once in a while, a UFC fight. You can even stream all those anyways. Yeah. You can, you it, you can stream everything now. Like, yeah, you don't even have pass. to buy. fight pass for UFC. You don't have to buy anything. You don't need, you don't need cable. Cable's going to be dead here in the next couple of years, I guarantee it. Yeah. But, Yeah. That brings me to my next prices, price. though. Netflix, I am super impressed yeah. with Netflix. I couldn't be more impressed with Netflix. Yeah, I think I'm going to check out that, that movie, uh, Outsider, Jared Leto. Outsider? Outsider. Yeah. yeah that that looks looks I haven't heard anything about that yet, so it I'm going to check it out. I like Bright. I really like Bright. I hope they do I'm a second Bright. For number two. That was great. Yeah. The storyline, everything. We, we did a review on that. Yeah, on we Bright. did. Yeah, so we did. Check out uh, the so, review. Yes. Check them out. Somewhere. Check them out. Yeah. We'll, we'll probably put that's it in a, there That's somewhere. at the end. That's at the end. Don't, don't, don't do it now. We're not done yet. What's wrong with you? So what else, what, what else are some of the things you've been watching? So, TV, movies, whatever. So movie-wise, um, I watched uh, Mute, which Mute. was a Netflix original based in Germany uh, in the future. The subtitle? Uh, no. No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no, no. It's, yeah, they, they speak English the entire time. I mean, there's, you know, there's some German being spoken things like that right it's, it's like eastern european kind of thing going on really cool really cool movie very strange i mean you could tell it was obviously a german director mm-hmm. um and i actually i don't know really any of, of what was going on it just looked like something cool i was like oh futuristic i'm about that um so i checked it out it was really good it was just really weird like it's this huge it's the guy from what is the name of that show True Blood. It's the guy from True Blood. The big, the guy who plays Eric. Blonde hair, huge. Oh, Skarsgård? Like, Skarsgård? Scar- Skarsgård? Skarsgård? Maybe it was Skarsgård. I don't know. Huge Skarsgård. blonde guy, big Norwegian looking dude. So he's in it, and he's an Amish guy in the future. He's Amish. He has an accident. He hurts his throat. He can't talk. His, his family doesn't believe in medical procedures. So he goes, he's mute. And then he, he moves to the city. He meets this girl at this uh, strip club. Uh, as he's bartending, he meets this waitress, and he falls in love, and they, you know, start dating or whatever. He's in love with a stripper. He's a, he's in love with a stripper. Well, she she wasn't a stripper; she was just a waitress. Oh, okay. But she could have been. A stripper. Yeah, Alexander Skarsgård. Yeah, oh, Skarsgård. Paul Rudd's in it too. Yeah, Paul Rudd. Just Paul Rudd did a great job. He was the antagonist. He was the main antagonist. Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell was in it. Okay. There's there's a good list, dude. A good lineup in that. It That's was not good. bad. It's a good list. But like I said, it was just a little out of my wheelhouse when it comes to weird. I okay. dig weird, but my wheelhouse is pretty well protected, and yeah. it was just a little outside of that. But it was cool. I like the way they put the the future, you know, the the technologies and things in there. Really cool. Um, it was a good movie. And it was a Netflix original. It was obviously, you know, more of like a, you know, foreign esque, mm-hmm. which Netflix seems to be doing a lot of. We've seen they, a lot yeah, of they stuff. Are, man. They are. There was that zombie. Yeah, that movie. zombie. We were, we were watching the. We were watching the trailer for that the other night. And that sounded like it was Norwegian was, or something, or I don't know. Yeah. Scandinavian. Scandinavian. Maybe? Yeah. yeah. Something like We've that. A lot of those. I don't watch the subtitles. Sorry. Um, a couple of shows worth mentioning from Netflix that are Netflix originals, I think. Yes, Frankenstein Chronicles. I know you told me I gotta. I'm gonna. I'm gonna Man, check it out. Sean Bean does a killer job. 
in that in that show. There's only two seasons, right Is now. It two seasons? Yeah, it was two seasons. Oh wow! But it, like the first season was like like eleven episodes or something, mm -hmm. and then the second season was only like six episodes. Netflix must have so, picked it up because I don't. I think they they cut it. it they cut it in half. So, but really good. Yeah. I mean, gory, suspenseful, like you know, eighteen hundreds. Um, you know, well, you're watching. You're watching Penny Dreadful right now. Is it the Penny gore, Dreadful? Is the gore up there with that? With Penny Dreadful? Yeah. Yeah, it's up there. I mean, and, but I mean, it's not as abundant in Penny Dreadful. There's quite a bit of gore. You know, I mean, it's pretty gory. A lot, way more sex in Penny Dreadful. Like yeah. that is like. Skinamax to the fullest, right there. Yeah, those two I mean, girls. You, you those even two see... girls in Penny Dreadful. Yeah, they're not the most attractive girls in the world. Which ones? Um, oh, the chick that. Oh, the chick that plays the Cockney one. She's like, oh, okay, okay, I'm being dead. Yeah, she's her. Yeah, she plays. Yeah, she's she's, she's, she's the one she's that's the, with. Um, she's, the hope. she's with the gunslinger. Uh, but she gets like TV. She's got consumption. Yes. Yeah, I know. You're yeah, well, she's in. She's also. She was in Doctor Who. She was in Doctor Who. She Doctor played Who, Rose. Uh, Diaries of a Call Girl. Di yeah, Diaries of a Call Girl. She's Stop, not super about, attractive. Something about her I like, though. But she's a good... Yeah. Okay, it's like a... There's something... It's like a dirty... Yeah. Dirty, just, yeah, it's like a dirty... <laughs> it's like, just, like, it's forbidden, you know? It's like one, you just, one of those dirty, like, yeah. dirty girls that you like. But, so, Frankenstein Chronicles, watch that. Really good. That was awesome. And then the other one was Altered Carbon. Oh, I know. I, uh, I, I that out. was blown away by that show. Like, it was so... How much of it's like Blade So Blade good. Blade. Like Blade Runner? Is it like Blade Runner at all? It's Blade Runner. Is it gonna it's got... put me to sleep? Fuck no, no. It okay. will not put so you to sleep. Than... It is intense. It is so it's better full of violence. Right? It is martial arts mixed with guns mixed with technology. It's sweet. And it's so cool. Just just the idea of the show was board. so cool. I'm on board. You need you need to watch it. Really good. So it's better than Blade Runner. Twenty forty nine, by the way, the original. Cool. It's good in its own way. Okay. You you just don't even know. Like you keep saying how much you did like Blade Runner twenty forty nine. You don't even know. You watch the original one time, and I've think you know ones. what's going on. I I've live that life, ones. bro. I remember when they came out with new editions. Yeah. Yes. And you were old enough to go to the. Theater I just bought see. Final Cut, by the way. You told me that. It's, yeah. it's interesting. I'm actually going to check awesome. that. It's great. As long as the original. Is I apologize to any Blade Runner fan out there. He's just. He's I just don't. Like Come at me, bro. <laughs> So that's the, my Netflix addiction so far. Penny okay. Dreadful is what I'm watching right now. That's a really good movie, but that or a really good show. That was a Showtime. That was a Showtime original. Which one? Which uh, one Penny Dreadful. Penny, yes, yes, it was Showtime. That was a Showtime original, and that was really good. I mean, yeah, I'm really. I think enjoying. Showtime dropped it, and Netflix I think picked up the last season. Did they? I think. I think it's all done now. That'd be interesting. I think it's all done now. There's got to be an ending to it. I mean, you can only go so far in that. Yeah. In that kind of. Yeah. In that kind of world. So. So, I mean, for me right now, I've been on, like, I don't know why, but I've been on, like, a mobster, gangster kind of kick lately. Oh, yeah, you're watching that. Uh... I was watching, well, I watched Gangs, of, well, no, first, I watched Goodfellas. Goodfellas, that's a yeah, great that movie. great. That's just a classic movie. Chris? Yeah. Go get your fucking shine box. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> go get your fucking shine box. Go get your fucking shine box. That's yeah. great. I love Goodfellas. Goodfellas was awesome. Good movie. Um, and then I watched Gangs of New York. It's a little older. Great movie though, man. A little set set back in the great the eighteen forties. Uh yeah, New yeah. York, uh eighteen was it eighteen forty? I think so. Eighteen thirties, eighteen yeah. Um, it's when the potato famine was hitting in yeah. Ireland and the, you know, all the immigrants were coming over and yeah. it's all about I mean every, everybody knows by now. I mean you should. If you've never seen Gangs of New York, yeah. go watch it. Go watch it. It's on Netflix right it's now. On Netflix. It's on Netflix. It's great got movie. DiCaprio, Cameron Diaz, um, Guy who plays Bill the Butcher. Yeah, one of my one of the greatest actors. <laughs> I ever. can't even remember his name. And right I'm now. Uh, he did. Uh, his name. He was in There Will Be Blood. Um, oh my god! I mean, great, you're horrible. Great, great actor, and I'm drawing a massive. Well, the right end now. this podcast right now. I feel like we're shamed. Like people are ashamed of us. I'm right so now. sorry for whoever. Somebody drop a hint. Like, I don't. Who was it? Gangs in New York. Something. Daniel Day Lewis. Oh my God. Yes. Daniel That's Day so Lewis. bad. Yeah. That's so bad. Daniel horrible, Day Lewis. Horrible people. How, how do we space on Daniel Day Lewis? I don't even know how we have this podcast. We should actor. just shut this off. We should I'm shut amazing. this podcast down right We're now. It's terrible. We're going to get a lot of hate on that. I'm going to have to close my Twitter feed. 
So you're on like a gangster kick right now. Yeah, and then I'm, I'm going through right now the uh, Godfather trilogy. I remember you said that. I watched number one. Amazing. I haven't watched it in so long. And then uh, I just got through number two last night. You said you like that one better though, right? Yeah. Okay. So number two is better? Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, I'm going to try to go through number three maybe tonight. Number Sometime three was definitely week. not the best one. Yeah, it wasn't weird. the best one. And like you said, there's a huge age gap. There's a huge distance between the two. Yeah. Between two and three. So I mean, I mean, people were waiting a long time for three to come out. Yes. So, uh, but I mean, they're they're great movies. It's a really it's one of it's up there with one of the best trilogies. I mean, obviously, Star Wars would be like number one in my book for trilogies, and then that would be in two or three. That's right there. Okay. So it's it's up there for sure. Yeah, no, it's it's really good. I mean, it's it's crazy how how young uh, Robert uh, Robert Duvall. Oh yeah, man! And, you can uh, see all of them. They're just all so young. Yeah. You know. Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro in the second one. You're playing young Vito. Young Vito. Young Vito. Vito Corleone. Crazy young. Yeah. You broke my heart, Chris. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. I know it was you. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. Good movies. Anything else? You're not watching anything else? I mean, that's like, that's where you're at? That's where I'm at right now. You've yeah. been pretty stale with watching stuff, man. I really have. I really have. I've wow. been going gangbusters, dude. I'm just watching anything I can get my hands on. Yeah. I, I watched Full Metal Alchemist, the live action that oh, Netflix yeah. did, um, all in subtitles. Ugh. I don't want to see Netflix do another live action anime movie. And if they do, I'm going to lose my shit. Because they well, ruined Death, well, stuff. Well, Death Note was amazing. Was it amazing, Stephen? <laughs> wow. That was horrible. Oh, you said Blade Runner was bad. Death Note was terrible. Yeah. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist. I love Full Metal Alchemist. I've watched yeah. it fucking cover to cover. It, I love Full Metal Alchemist. I love the idea of alchemy. I love the idea. Just the storyline. I wish I was Edward Elric. I wish I could be in that world and be able to whoosh, and just make shit. Like, it's so cool. And they destroyed it they took they took whatever it is 200 episodes or some crazy thing like that and smashed it into like they did death note smashed it into a one you know two hour movie Mm -hmm. and they just it was terrible like i was so mad so mad i'm sorry it took me three i had to start watching it three different times that sucks like if i'm watching something i don't want to hit the pause button that's how it gets my interest. I could hit pause on that all day. Like, all day. Like, it had me at first. I was like, oh, this is cool. Nostalgia kicking in. Awesome. And then it dropped, and it was just like, I'm just going to get through it to say that I watched it right. at that point. And I don't know where they went with that. Yeah. It was just weird. So that was my just Yeah, one movie, one movie I want to check out that's on Netflix right now is uh, Wind River. Oh, you, yeah, you were talking Jeremy about Jeremy Renner, Elizabeth Olsen. I want to check that out. I heard that's amazing. I've heard that from several different people. Okay. And, and that's that's saying. like grippy, kind of suspenseful, detective-esque kind of I think of it's detective-esque, but I don't, know, I don't know about it or all the rest. I know they're, uh, they, they're investigating like a murder or something. Isn't one of them, he's like an ex-sniper or something like that, or special ops or something? No idea. Or hunter, maybe? I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't know how I went from ex special ops to hunter, but yeah. I think you he's some he's some kind of specialist. It seems like in the, in the, what I've seen. Uh, other than that, though, I haven't really been into a whole lot. I mean, went and bought a bunch of movies. There's a movie we're gonna watch actually with my daughter, Where the Wild Things Are, okay. the live action. I never saw the live action. I never I never watched it either. I've actually I heard really good things about it when it was actually still, you know, going through theaters and all that. I heard it was actually pretty good. So. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I can't wait to maybe I'll, we'll talk we'll touch basis on that one. Okay. But we need to go see a movie, man. I know. I think it's uh I'm gonna get you hooked up on movie pass. Past time to we actually go yeah, see. Yeah, I mean something. there's not you know, I wanna see Death Wish. I think that well then we were supposed to go see we're it to see tomorrow it and day. shit didn't work out. And it didn't work. But Death we, Wish I wanna see. Want to see I have one. no interest in seeing a recall in time. I don't wanna yeah. You can probably go see it and take your kid but i don't want to see it i don't want to see it even jessica was like holy shit i want to see it so bad and i'm like Do we have one? i think we could skip that one death yeah. wish i'm a huge death wish fan i watched the original death wish mm-hmm. uh, i watched one and two i never watched the third one i think there was like 
a crazy amount of death wishes. I think there was like five or six. Probably. Like there was a, a huge number. Charles James, Bronson. Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson, amazing right. actor, did a great job in the originals. The originals were gory and full of like fuck you and big shotgun blasts and awesome stuff. You know, he like chases these guys down. Yeah. Uh, you know, his daughter, his wife was killed. His daughter was raped and, and almost died, kind of thing. And, yeah. Uh, really great, and I'm really glad they chose Bruce Willis to do that because he has that Bronson personality, yeah, that hopefully, tough hopefully guy. Up, like I'm gonna fuck people up. Hopefully, kind he shows of thing. up for it though. What do you mean? He, he sometimes you think, doesn't show you, up. You hope he rises to the occasion. He sometimes doesn't show up to the movies. Did you see that last Die Hard movie? I didn't watch the last Die Hard movie, but he's also 60-something years old. I'm going to cash this check. Yeah, yeah, that was a big cha-ching for him. And I'm just going to just look Bruce willis I think the last Bruce Willis, the last Die Hard movie I actually liked was the one with the hacker. With the hacker? When was that? It was like Die Hard with a Vengeance, maybe? Oh, oh, Cyrus the Virus? Is that the one? It was in the 2000s. Goddamn. It came out in the that 2000s. Was that was it's Connor. the one where he shoots the motorcycle at the fucking helicopter and stuff. Yeah, that was with uh, Simon. Simon Says. Simon Says? Yeah, Simon. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, it was the brother of the uh, the guy from the first movie. It was his brother. It was the bad guy. Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons was the villain. I don't remember. It came out in the it 2000s. Was him. It was him, Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, no, 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 this is after. That was Die This Hard is after Vengeance. that. Okay, well, then the one I'm thinking of is, maybe it's Die Hard Independence Day or something like that, or Die Hard something. It's basically about, live like... Live Free or Die Hard? Live Free or Die Hard. Well, I think the, that was the one. What's oh, that kid's name? That horrible actor. He, he horrible. played Boomerang. Did he? Yeah. Oh, no. Captain Boomerang. No. No, it wasn't with the... No, 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 no. This one came out in, like, the early 2000s. Yes. That was the last Die Hard movie I actually enjoyed. I don't remember the name of it. I can't remember. I can't remember for my life. That's fucking terrible. I'm saying how much I love it, and I can't remember the name. But it was uh, it was this little hacker kid, like, this little hacker guy, um, and he basically figures out that everything that's going on uh, with the, these bigger hackers are, like, basically taking over the government, pretty much. It's like a fire sale. They're, like, going and, like, trying to clear out all the money from the government and all this stuff. I forget who played the bad guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, that's it the was, one. It uh, was Live Free, Die Hard with Justin Live Long. Live Free or Die Hard with Justin, Justin Long. Long. That's Justin one. Long. That was the last one I enjoyed. Have you seen okay. that one? Yes, that one wasn't bad. It okay, wasn't yeah. horrible. Yeah. It wasn't good. It had Silent Bob in it. He was the uh, yeah, yeah, one yeah, of the Kevin underground Smith. hacker guys, yeah. like the friend. Yeah, Kevin Smith. Yeah. Uh, uh, that, uh, I actually one enjoyed I was that talking one. about... Is a good day to die hard. That's the one with Samuel L. Jackson, right? No, that's or uh, that's the that's new the die newest hard new one. Vengeance. So the, the newest one you're talking 2013, about. 2013, good day to die hard, and it's with uh, Jai Courtney. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't watch that one. It just looked like they were beating the horse to like the horse is dead. Yes, yeah, so I they know, were I, just, I love how this. Uh, what was he? He's, he's not a New York cop. He's an L. Is he a New York cop? He's a New York cop. Yeah, he was a New York cop. This New York cop becomes some international badass. Of course. All cops are badass. That's true. He should have been a sheriff. I think that yeah. would have been cooler. But yeah, no, I mean, so as far as I'm concerned, I'm I'm pretty swept up in the Netflix thing right now. Yeah, um, Netflix has a lot of good stuff. The Punisher. Oh. The Punisher series. That Punisher series was a great awesome. job. Punisher series. I think the only one I, I haven't seen Jessica Jones. People try to shut it down. I haven't that watched down. that. Jessica Jones? No, The Punisher. Tried to shut it down? Yeah, because oh, it was coming out right after stuff, the or? No, it was coming out right after the Vegas shooting. It came out right after that Vegas shooting. And a lot of people tried to shut it down. The hell does that happen? Gun right? violence. Uh, people are scared of the guns. Oh my god, people. People are scared of the uh, guns. I'm sure we're gonna catch hell for saying that. I just I think it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's it's, it's entertainment. Yeah. I'm not talking about the Vegas shooting. I'm talking about these these shows and movies that yeah, do not exist reality. in this world. Different, completely different thing. Have no bearing on the Vegas shooting or any other stuff. Yeah, don't why. shut something down when it's so gripping and so good. Don't shut it down. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, there's it was so there's good. There's people that like to mix entertainment with politics, and it's it turns people off. <sighs> it turns people off so bad. 
and they do that. Keep entertainment and politics. You, you go, please. you go see movies, you go watch TV shows, as an altered reality. You yeah, just, you, you don't want to be where you're you at, escape. or you want to see something different, yeah. or you're really into whatever's going on. Great. Don't use that to like solidify your views yeah. in politics. Like it's, yeah, it's don't ridiculous. Use it to try to but that show was down. great. So as far as I'm concerned, all of the Marvel universe for Netflix, they've been doing a great job, except when we agree on this one. Iron Fist. Iron Fist yeah. was good and terrible. <laughs> yeah. I there, think there the guy who played Iron moments. Fist. There was some very good moments. Yeah. yeah. The, the guy who wow. played the Iron wow. Fist. Wow. I was not a big sorry. I don't even know who. Who are you? Have your phone. You know, people usually turn their phones on silent. I didn't. I'm sorry. I screwed up. What am I saying? God. I don't know who that is. Anyways. Well, in that case, I'm looking for. uh, I'm accepting applications for a new co host to the Starcom (laughs) show. Right. Accepting anybody but the guy with the loud phone. Got it. But, anyways, as far as I'm concerned. Hey, 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 hey. No. Uh, so Iron Fist, watch it. I mean, it kind of it goes hand in hand with the other ones because they're all kind of interconnected, and then it leads into um, the Defenders, Marvel Defenders, which was actually good. I really enjoyed Marvel Defenders. I have not seen Jessica Jones. Tell me about it. What have you seen it? I've seen half the season. Oh man, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, new topic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Change topic quick. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know anything about it. I I never even read the comics or anything. I don't know anything about it. I don't know. I don't know. So, anyways, that's, oh, a, I know that's what a, I know. Uh, she's a bee from Apartment, what was it, 13 or something like that? Yes. Was it a movie? Or a show? Show. James, with James Vanderbeek, he was in it too. What? Yeah. It's on Netflix too. I haven't watched it, but I've seen pictures of it constantly. What's it called? Uh, the bee that lives in Apartment 13 or something. The bee that lives in apartment 13. Yeah, it's a bitch. The bitch that lives in apartment 13. Does it say bitch or are no, you just bee. being It polite? says the bee. It says the bee. Cause it, oh. it was a network show. So oh. It's the bee, but obviously it means the bitch. Yeah. That sounds riveting. Yeah. I think it lasted like two seasons. <laughs> uh, uh, that's as far as I got as far as what I've been doing. I mean. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Now we got to get into it. We're just. We're slacking hard. You're slacking harder than I am. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's true. It's pretty bad. That's true. Um, I don't know. Next big movie's coming up. I'm going to rewatch Thor. I'm going to oh, buy it. Oh, A Quiet Place. Oh, my God. I want to see that. That looks amazing. That looks really... I mean, dude, it looks really good. It looks very good. I like that. And uh, it's... Uh, who's the guy in that? He's from The Office. The male. The dad. He's from The Office. Played... The guy in the office. He's from the office. Are you sure? It's the same guy who's doing the, the Jack Ryan movie or the Jack Ryan the, show. Is it? I thought it was the husband and wife mm-hmm. combo. It is a husband and wife, but the guy playing the husband was from the office. I swear. Yeah, no. I don't know. He's gonna, he's gonna do the research, but we should probably look these things up before we start. This. We don't know what we're gonna talk about. We're I know this is completely unscripted. People. This and this is something different for us. We're doing something. We're not taking. We're not taking one thing. And like researching it and doing it, we're just gonna talk. We're just talking yeah, we're just about just talking. what we're talking about. It looks like a great movie. It really does. It looks. I love that. I can't watch horror movies. I have an eight-year-old daughter and I have a wife who is scared of the dark. So oh, yeah, I am not. Right. Unfortunately, I can't watch that stuff. You're right. It's yeah. Just, it's John Kaczynski. Kaczynski. And, uh, Emily Blunt. That's what. I'm, okay. Thank you. So, John Kaczynski is the father, and it looks great. It looks like. My butthole was gonna pucker this whole movie. Yeah, and you ever I mean, really Leatherheads. Like Leatherheads? Yeah, with uh, John Kaczynski. It's like old school football, back in the day. So was George, it, was it George, Clooney. George Clooney it's supposed to be kind of funny, right? It's supposed yeah. to be humorous. I never watched that. Movie got crapped on. I actually enjoyed that movie. You know, I just I feel like it's not a good movie, but it's it's enjoyable. I feel like certain I've movies. I've watched it multiple times. I mean, I think there's there's a big genre of movies like Marvel and whatever, like grippy, you know, suspense movies. But there's also movies that people just relate to. Yeah, it's all I subjective. Think, you know what it's I mean? all subjective. Yeah. The Emoji movie yeah. was fucking terrible. Oh, was it? What'd I, you think I was going to say? I loved it. I don't it? know. I don't know, because you're... Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't as, as bad. It. it wasn't as bad as a lot of people said it was, but it was bad. There, yeah. There was there was some funny parts in it. Um, it was uh, the guy who directed Deadpool. Uh, why can't I think of his name right now? He directed Deadpool. 
I think the majority of the people. He voiced like the main emoji. Oh, I can't remember. Okay. But it was okay. It was okay. It was like you know my kid loved it. She freaked. Yeah. Oh, Picard was the poop. Oh yeah, yeah. What the hell, dude? I don't know. That was interesting. The Picard played the poop, which was something I didn't. He's so dapper and he's so British. It just was. Yeah. It was weird. I don't know. But Patrick Stewart's amazing. Pa- he really is. He truly is. He's just a great guy. But anyways, I'm gonna keep watching stuff. I'm gonna let you know. Maybe when I'm done with Penny Dreadful, we can. Yeah, we're, we're, we'll keep talking. You know, it, how we want to do this is just kind of just sit back. We're not gonna have a, we're not gonna do a specific. Oh, this review, that review. We're just gonna we're gonna sit back, try to do every week. Yeah. And just recap the stuff we have watched during the week. Maybe could we do like some cool live stuff where people can like. Oh, well, we could if we get stuff on Facebook. We did a live. We've done. We did a, a Facebook live video before. Did we? Yeah, we did. Oh, we did when we went when we were on our way to go see Ragnarok. No, no, no. We did one here in the uh, in the yeah. office. Yeah. No. Yeah. But no, we could totally do that. How we much could, did I have to drink? Because I obviously don't probably know. a lot. Yeah. But we could we could set something up there too, like with a tablet doing a Facebook live. We do it like on the and side. People there. can put up hints and suggestions. Yeah, and you know, there's uh, there's really no limit to what we can do. Why not? It's just, just wide I open. want to change some stuff. I want to get a table. I want to get a table. We sit across from each other. And, Gotta uh, argue with the wife about the high top table. See yeah, whether that's gonna come in. I'm gonna win. <laughs> no, Do we ever really win? I think we just get small victories and then we just take it and run with it. Yeah, well, that's worth it though. Yeah, look at all this new stuff we got. We got the arms. I know those these are, are all great, those are all man. victories. Those are all it's, victories. It is, I feel so professional. We got the pop, the pop. So when I say pop, does it stop pop. it from making that like? No, it's so you don't spit in the microwave or in the microwave. In the microwave. In the, uh, microphone. Well, so you're you kind of sick if you spit in the microwave, but whatever. That's different. So like you can like you can move it. Yeah, you can move it. Yeah, that'd be great. Adjust it. Like that'd be great. Move it around. Go crazy. Go hot. I like how you were trying to use it like a cosmetic thing. You're like, I'm gonna cover my face up. Oh yeah, I got I got got more chins. No, the Chinese airline. Oh, you said it. I didn't. I wasn't gonna say it. Wait, people don't know that one. It's not even. It's not not even that bad. It's an old one. Like you didn't tell one of your crappy jokes. That could have been worse. I don't have any crappy jokes. (laughs) Okay, so I think we've. uh, I think we've gone on long enough. I think we've gone long enough. Like forty-seven minutes here. So hey, if you're still here, thank you very much. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna upload this video to YouTube, but we're also gonna do a audio only um, segment on too. I think we can do a lot of podcasts. Yeah. Even if they're only thirty minute segments, yeah. I really think we, we can, can do, do a lot. Those more are easy. That, you know, yeah. Those are easy. The videos are hard to kind of get in and yeah, position. Yeah. There's a lot of editing. There's a lot of stuff going on with that. So I mean, honestly, I think the the podcast will be better. Well, yeah. And I, I think we're more attractive with no video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got we got faces for radio. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll be uploading this to different uh, podcast sites and stuff. So I'll let you know which ones you can find it on. And you can always find us on YouTube. Go on Facebook, like, subscribe, subscribe, share. Uh, hit, hit me up on Twitter, uh, Stephen underscore Sebring. It'll be a it'll be a sweet picture of me standing on the edge of the Grand Canyon. If anybody needs to get a hold of me, I'm going to be soon. I'm going to open up a Twitter account and I'll link it. With, I think okay, hit me that. up on Twitter. I'll give you his personal link. I'll send some number. some tweet tweets or whatever you people. No do nude pics. Do nude pics. No is that a thing? Do no they do that? that? I'm sure. I'm sure. Like D pics. I know that's like a thing. I mean, I'm that's sure. like for messaging. No, is there like, how you get in trouble. Is it like a nude tweet thing? I'm sure. I think they, they censor like all a, that. Like a, yeah, there's like a. There's like a filter thing or something. Wow. Yeah, but I think you can find some. You find some weird stuff on Twitter. I get requests all the time from these chicks. Oh my god! I don't like even, just these like just I don't even know. yeah spam just yeah. spam. And then you want to send see some nude pics? Like, come over to sex yeah, snap. Follow me, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> send some nude pics. No, that's how you get viruses. <laughs> In more ways than yeah, one. More ways In than more one. ways than one. So I'll try to get a Twitter account. Maybe I can I can link it up, or we can do. Yeah. Can we do like a group Twitter thing, like like Starcom Movie News and Reviews Twitter of account? We should probably do that too. Of course. For the heck of it. You can always reach me on Facebook on Starcom Movie News and Reviews. You want to hit me up? I'm Chris Earl. Uh, There's Steven. Yeah. And uh, we're back, bitches. Yeah, as always, stay beautiful. Take care.